Welcome to Villa Altona. Please come in. This is the home of Alan Spiegel, his wife and their two children in Zollenturna, a suburb north of Stockholm. It stands on a rocky hillside shaped by the last ice age. Alan did not first clear and flatten the site as many do here. It's more natural to adapt a house to the nature than to ad adapt the nature to a new built house. Uh, so if we had to take everything away with a dynamite, we have to refill it and then we have to try to make a new nature. And uh, first of all, it's expensive and it's also quite ugly. Spiegel is a furniture designer and interiors consultant. He designed the house with his architect friends. Its form comprises cubes and oblongs, stacked like shipping containers. I'm interested in to try to build new things. For instance, in my daily work, we, we produce uh, furniture, and we always try to make some detail better or uh, something thinner or stronger. And uh, if you build a normal wooden house in Sweden, um, I can do it blind. It's easy for, for, the, for the most people if you just know how to use a, a hammer and a saw. Spiegel built the house with his bare hands and some help. The ground floor is open plan, designed to be a welcoming space where family and friends can come together. Such gatherings often centre on eating together, so the long stainless steel kitchen counter is at the heart of it all. In Sweden it's cold, like six months per year. Uh, so the house is, is uh, it's, it's a place where you meet your friends. And if you compare it to, like, to Spain, you, you, you go out and you eat dinners with, with your friends, but you don't do that in Sweden. Of course you go to restaurants, but you don't go to restaurants three, four days per week. So in Sweden, it's very, um, uh, I think it's very important to have a house where you can meet, you invite your friends. Upstairs are the bedrooms and bathrooms. I would not have the sliding doors if I may make this project one more time. Because you can hear lots of sounds, so it's, it's too little privacy for, uh, for the children and even for us. Um, and it works when the children are small, but it doesn't work when the children are growing up and getting, when they are becoming adults, they need the privacy. Alan Spiegel lost 10 kilograms with the exercise he got carrying all the materials and building the house. It was a new experience, not everything went quite according to plan. I'm colorblind, and uh, I always had one guy with me. We were, we were always two when we were building, because you always need to be two. And the house have four colors. I don't really know. It's like four brown, different uh, colors. And we were painting a whole day, and we were finished with this wall. In the afternoon, my wife came, and she said, it's, wrong, it's the wrong color. And I was angry with my friend uh, because I said, I'm, I'm colorblind. And then he said, yeah, but I'm colorblind too. That clearly didn't prevent them from finishing the colorful villa Altona. 